Ah, there we are. We're on. Oh, there we are. <laughs> Hi, everybody. Welcome to Gloria Horn Sewing Studio, Pittsburgh, PA. It is Wednesday, so that's Kimber Bell Day. So you have Mary Lou and myself and PJ. The reason we're about six minutes late is because of Steve. So just so you know. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we left off last week with cutting our little save the date pillow. So I just want to kick off with that and show you the little secret that is in the directions so that you guys don't mess it up when you're cutting it. So remember she, yeah, she's going to go back. So remember she got it all quilted, uh, all the um, background quilting done. She did all the applique. So what you're going to do is you're going to lay your eight and a half by eight and a half orange pop roller and um, you're going to lay that right over. And remember I said, you're going to see your design is over the top of here, but that is what it's supposed to do. So then you mark all four corners on the outside and your directions will tell you this. So just follow the directions. So then after you have your four corners marked on the outside with this water soluble pen, you're going to take your ruler and you're going to go one inch out from that line. So I'm just putting my ruler one inch out from that line and I'm going to trim it off. And you're going to do that on all four. So here we are. My little marks are here. I'm going to take my little ruler and I'm going to put it one inch out from those little marks and I'm going to trim that off. Okay, and then we're going to go all four sides, one inch out of that little marking. Trim it off and the same with the top. So there you are with the blue and you're going to go one inch further. So the eight and a half inch ruler by eight and a half inch ruler gave you those marks, but they tell you to go one more inch out. So you're going to do that. And then what's going to happen, it's magic. And your backing piece is 12 and a half by 12 and a half. And it's going to fit right on here. Look at that. And you're going to sew around all the sides, leaving a three inch open. You're going to flip it inside out. And then that's when you're going to do the little buttonholes and you're going to have it all ready to go for your pillow. So I just wanted to, you know, tell you guys about that moving that roller one inch after you do the eight and a half by eight and a half orange pop one inch is where you trim it. Very easy to do. It's just um, their little secret for some of us that don't like to read directions. I just want to let you know that that's in the directions. <laughs> so what we're going to do today is our little April mini quilt Amazing. is Easter. So we had to kind of do the um, Easter stuff quick this month because it's March 31st. So since Easter's coming up quickly, we wanted to get all the Easter stuff done from Kimberbell. So today we're going to show you how the um, April mini quilt has a reverse applique. So PJ zooming in on these and you can see their little windows. So they're little cute little windows and it's called reverse applique. So we're going to do one of these blocks for you. And then we're also going to show you how we attach these cute little flowers. That'll be today's lesson. Um, so is Mary Lou ready? Oh, almost. I'm almost, making Mary Lou's almost ready. <laughs> but look at how cute they are. We, Some we of these have, have foam underneath there. Raise this that. little chick was adorable. He's got foam. She's got foam underneath there. This one has foam. This one has leather. These two bunnies have fur. So in your embellishment kit of that first six months, you have all of these products that you can do your, your quilts with. Background quilting um, on the mini quilts is sold separately. Yes. Um, which brings me to my next thing. Let's just bring that over here for a commercial. We got our borders on our Quilt Through the Seasons quilt. Okay, guys? This is so absolutely adorable. But what I wanted to let you know, there's two more days left for the background quilting sale. She has it on sale 25% off, which is pretty big for Kimberbell. It's regularly $50. They're selling it for $38. And you get all the background quilting designs in all the sizes. That's actually a pretty good deal. Yeah, so um, we just to wanted to show you we got our borders on, and now we're going to start making our seasonal things. So uh, next week we're going to teach you the um, happy place, little rope bowls, and then we're going to start doing some squares on our quilting with the seasons. So if you haven't gotten yours cut out yet, you still have a couple weeks. <laughs> Not a problem. Okay, so I now we're I ready. Have everything. Okay, so we're going to go over to Mary Lou, and we're going to show you the reverse applique technique. The bottom row of this particular quilt is done in one hooping. 
The top quilt is done in two hoopings. So we're just going to do one of the bottom quilt ones to show you today because it's in one hooping. Here's all of our pieces. Okay. I need our and directions. They, they, they have a special, I guess I could show it right there. Is that too? Um, hold on one second. I, I don't know if that's good or not. That oh, I messed oh, with it. Oh, okay, right there. That. Yeah, I'll I messed with that. that camera. So yeah, I probably okay. messed it up. This <laughs> talks about the reverse applique and how you do it. And we're going to do this bunny. So they tell you to take, we're only going to need the quilting only file from part one. And then we're going to put the, the B, what's this one? A oh, block by block. <clears throat> This yes. is the block by block bunny. Yes. So there's a little bit of jumping around on here. So you definitely want to pay attention um, and, and see how we figured this out. So again, it'll tell you the bottom row is going to be all these three and the top row is going to be all these three in two different hoopings. But we're going to do the one hooping. And they want the Easter one. Okay. So we're doing loading the background quilting first. P.E.S. And we're going to do the four by four. We'll hit set. Now we're not going to mess with this yet. We're going to go go ahead and then go back. Right. We're going to add the design on top of the background quilting, just like we do with all the Kimberbell designs. And we want April. bunny BB bunny two, which is the block by block files. Correct. Because we could use that one, but we're not. We're going to go to the block by block files. Because we're doing background quilting. If you are not using background quilting, you can go right to the files. And there. We're ready to go. And hit embroidery. Embroidery. But I'm going to jump ahead. Did we cut batting? Nope, but this piece looks good. Oh, well, that works. <laughs> See, I knew there was a reason I had brought that upstairs with me. And we're going to jump ahead. So we're in the five by seven hoop. This is really, it, it is a little crazy, but But just we follow us, out. we got this. So that's the color we're gonna do the background quilting in, so you'll be able to see it. I, I changed my colors, cause didn't bring them up with me and I had to pick something out of the drawer. But we're going with it. Yep, I think it'll look nice. I do too, plus you'll be able to see it. It'll okay. pop. So this is the bunny that has a little bit of leather on it. So that's gonna be cute. Okay, so first we're going to do a placement stitch directly on our stabilizer, which is no-show. It's just the light mesh no-show stabilizer, and we're doing the placement stitch directly on there. And here's your batting, ma'am. Thank you. <laughs> okay, this will also do a little template of the egg right in the middle of the batting. And do you so, have your snips ready? Because we've got to trim to that and trim out our little egg. Ready. I have them ready. Look at how neat they're. This PJ must have been in here cleaning today because he's got everything <laughs> neat and ready for us. <laughs> you know why Gloria was showing a machine? That's why the room's so clean. <laughs> okay, it'll go around that twice, and then um, it'll make the egg in the middle, and then I'll tw trim it while she finds the embroidery pattern. The quilting pattern. Oh no, there'll be a placement first for first the fabric. First there's a placement, then the tack down, and then Then I'll the find. quilting, yep. that's correct. And this is how Kimber Bell tell, tells us to do it, so I'm following the And we rules. figured this out two days ago, so it's still pretty fresh in our minds. <laughs> That looks bigger than I remember. <laughs> I know, right? Well, remember, there's an outside and inside because we pull yep. it through. Yep. Okay. okay. So I'm going to trim, and then she'll do a placement line for her fabric. Remember, I like the purple scissors for the batting.
Okay, and then you want to take your little snippies in and just do the egg and just kind of get under there and try not to get the stabilizer. And then you're just going to trim this egg. Duckbill scissors would be perfect for this. Some of the people like the duckbill to get underneath that batting and it doesn't scrape your fabric or your stabilizer. But you guys know me, I love these little snippies. Okay, there you are, my lady. Time for placement of the okay. fabric. So the placement of the fabric she will do, and here's all your fabrics you're going to use. You're going to use... Some of it has the... The background fabric, this one here, the background fabric is going to have the shape flex on it. The middle fabric is going to be just fabric, no shape flex. The egg fabric is going to have shape flex, and the leather is just going to be the piece of leather. And it tells you that all in the directions when you're cutting this out. Okay, that was the placement line for the fabric. Now this is going to be the tacked on line for the fabric. And I just sort of even it up over. Because they do get cut to that size. Yes. That's why, again, we like the back, background quilting. It really gives you that cut line. Um, and I was surprised how reasonably priced Quilting Through the Seasons bundle is. Um, so that was a really good deal today, I saw. But it's only for two more days. Okay, now she's going to go and find, oh, no, it's going to do the egg. No. Background quilting first. Background quilting this first. This is where we go and jump ahead or back mm -hmm. to the background quilting. I think I'll go back. There it is. There's our quilting design. So we're going to put that on the whole piece, then we will put the egg down. And look at this little quilting. I hope you can get up close. It has the word egg. It has the word bunny. I think there's a little basket. Is that a basket? I don't know what that is. I think it's just adorable. Yeah, it's a little basket. It's this way. <laughs> no funny. You'll be able to see it with that darker thread. He'll zoom in on it for you. It's really, really a cute background and quilting. I, I'm looking at how they're writing bunny, and I'm like, wow, that was quick. I know. They, they just digitized the lettering. It's so cool. Oh, he's got a good shot of that. So good. And it's a shame because it, if you look at it, it is pretty. Yeah. You cover it up pretty much. Yeah. So when we cut it out, you're going to cover up a lot of your background quilting on that one. Yeah, because you're not going to see the, the bunny or, or the bunny egg or anything I know. on that. I know, but it's cute. It's cute. It's too cute. There's the basket. Oh. I just cute. realized that it's at an yeah, angle the handle. and the handle's up there. I'm yeah. like, how's that a basket? Looks like a lantern that way, <laughs> hanging from the <laughs> ceiling. <laughs> it's going to disappear in a minute. It's cute stuff. And they're daisies that they put on there are so darn cute. Yes. So we'll talk about the daisies a minute. Um, the daisies you actually do with sew and wash in a 4x4 four four hoop. Not on these. And not you on do these. those. Not um, on this one. Oh, that daisy, yeah, but I'm talking about these three yeah, dimensional the other daisies. Ones. These actual daisies you're going to do with uh, sew and wash, and you're going to. No, that's fine. I can just show them that. I'll make it too close. Well, here, I'll come out uh, and I'll show them. So these are dimensional flowers. You're going to do those in a separate hooping in a 4x4 four four hoop with two layers of sew and wash and then soak them and let them dry overnight before you put them onto here. But we'll show you that in the end. I didn't mean to jump in there with that. Okay. okay. Well, and this stops. So now I'm going to jump ahead to where that a single egg was. Yes. That, that will be the placement line for the, the back fabric, whatever they call that. Correct. They call it backing fabric? They do. Egg fabric, I think they call it. This fabric. Applique fabric, whatever they call it. I forget. So this I is the know. piece that does not have shape flex on. So it's going to be placed on top. It's and right to side down, but this is the basics. It's, it's so. sort of hard to tell what is right and wrong on these 
Right, but if you're using a printed fabric, you would have the wrong side up for this. But we're using a solid basic. Maybe that's why they did it solid basic for us. Because <laughs> we don't know right from wrong. Yeah, we're good this way. In many ways, we don't know right, that's right. right from wrong. Oh, see, I could have done that a little. He did good. Oh, we wanted to bring up those little snippies. That's okay. Our black favorite scissors. I should have put them in. I think she has some in there. You I've think? seen them. Yes, yeah, she does. <gasps> PJ, can you put these in? I don't know what they are. Sure. They're Jim Holtz. I don't know if we have these, though. We'd have to ask mm. her. But we have them in Kai, and I think we have them in Fermori. Mm. Okay. Okay. So what's happening now up here is we are trimming all three layers. I'm going to trim this egg out of here. I'm going to flip it, and I'm going to trim it inside. They tell you to trim it an eighth of an eighth of an inch in because of the reverse applique. So I'm just going to snip like right here, an eighth of an eighth in, eighth of an inch in. Eighth I can't say inch. that together. And then I'm just going to trim, and you can see I'm leaving that eighth inch open because it's going to be the reverse applique. So this is how they tell us to do it. And I don't know how close I got there. So can you kind of see that I got very close to the eighth of an inch in? Okay. So you can kind of see that. At, oh, yeah, he got a good shot of that. And then you're going to flip it over. And there's actually a line from the placement right here. And I cut right on that line now. Then you just kind of want to snip in there until you get both layers of stabilizer and fabric. And then I'm just going to cut on that second line in, which is an eighth of an inch in. And it's going to be good. And we're just turning it like Ruth Ann would do. Turn your hoop as you go. It's way easier on your wrists. Okay, and then you're going to have both cut out. So there's the hole. Okay, then they tell you to take your little snips. You can use your snips, but I love these ones. We were using these downstairs. And you're just going to snip up until that stitch. Do not hit the stitch, but trim all the way around because this is how you're going to do your little window. I'm trying to do it down here so you can zoom in. And you're just going to go around and they give you pictures and directions of how to do this. Very, very user-friendly directions. You just have to read them, <laughs> which <laughs> and, sometimes we don't do. <laughs> and you pay attention to the red, the, red, the yellow highlighted yes, ones. Yes, yes. So we're just going all around this whole egg in the little window. This is how you're going to make your reverse applique window. And I kind of got all the way around. Okay. So now we're going to do a flip through here, correct? Yes. Okay, so now you're going to take this fabric here. Oh, we forgot our camera belt tape. Yeah, I, I brought some. Oh, okay, good. I mean, I didn't bring and any. you're feeding this through the hole, that top fabric, feeding that through the hole. I better show you guys that again. Okay, so here's my little trimmy. I did all those little notches in there, and I'm taking this top layer, and I'm going to push it through the hole. I'm going to flip my little hoop, and I'm going to pull this up, and I'm going to tape back here everything that I want for my window. Okay, and then you just kind of pull it and tape it, and it will make the straight away. You really don't need two people to do this, but it's way easier <laughs> if you have two people to do it. <laughs> okay. We did it by ourselves. We did do this by ourselves because we made all six of those blocks on Monday. Pull it, pull it, pull it a little bit more. There we go. Marlena asked, did you use clear blue tiles? You can. You absolutely can use clear blue my tiles. Mic isn't on. Would you repeat my question? You could, uh, someone asked if they could use clear blue tiles to do the background quilting, and you absolutely can. And they have a really cute spring one. So absolutely use those clear blue tiles. So Mary Lou is just hitting it with an iron. We have a new iron today we're showing. It's a pre-order, and it's so cute. It's so perfect for these. I'm going to tighten that one up just a little bit more right there. Okay, so now you can see the back of it it's not perfect. is all taped. The front of it is all smooth. 
Now we're going to go add and top stitch it all the way around. Top stitch that one first before we add the mm -hmm. orange. Yep. Mary Lou remembers. <laughs> I thought we added the orange right now. Well, but actually we do add, no. We do add the orange. <laughs> I'm saying we do. Well, but we do add the orange. Okay, because these are all quilting. That's a top stitch. That's it. Yep. We add the orange right now. I thought Sorry, so. I was wrong. Okay, so we come back to the table and we're going to turn this over and we're going to tape the orange onto that window. And again, you're going to use tape. This is why you need this ta Kimberbell tape dispenser and you need paper tape for projects like this because you have to tape the heck out of it on the back. Okay, there's your back, there's your front, and there's our little window. Oh, stop the cuteness. Okay, now it's going to do this top stitch now and tack do that all stitch. down, and it's a little bean stitch. And you'll see it goes outer edge about that eighth of an inch that we were talking about. Can you zoom in on that stitch there, PJ? It's that cute little bean stitch that do, they do on all their projects. And it's tacking down all those layers in the back and on top, and it's just making it so adorable. Oh, do we have wash away topper up here? I should. Is that what this is? Oh, that's the press away. I don't want press away. Is but we can press use away? it. That doesn't look like press away. No, it doesn't. They put that on here. We're using this one. It's fine. Okay, so now we're going to start with a bunny. So we're going to do the leather. Going to get a brown out, and we're going to do a leather um, But first you use the, you topper. put the wash away topper on. Okay, the reason you put your topper on now is your press or your foot, your embroidery foot, could get stuck in that egg. And so they tell now. you to use um, topper, water-soluble topper on top. So you want to definitely do that because you don't want that foot getting caught in that window. Because it's going to do the placement line. Whoops. And these particular ones on the bottom are half outside the window. So you definitely have to use topper here. Just tape it into place. Okay, and, and she's going to switch it to the brown because it's our little brown leather. Again, you could use fur on here. You can I'm use just, white I'm leather, sort of pink leather. Color. That's fine. We could use anything you want on these bunnies. Cuddle would be really cute to make on these little windows, but they call for the new uh, camel colored, or is it camel? Yeah, I think it's camel brown leather, and that's what we're going to use on this one. But the, we do have two bunnies on on this project that do call, have fur. Yes. And that's in the embellishment kit. And Whoops, that comes stop. in the embellishment kit. That's correct. You know, you got to do this first. Okay, I'm this will be ahead. the placement stitch for the leather for the bunny. Now watch, it's going to go over the edges of this. So that's why you have to have that topper on. Uh -huh. Oh, hi from PT. That's my husband. He's in PT at, uh, in Tennessee, so he just said hi from PT. <laughs> hi, hi PT guy and girls. <laughs> I think he said he has a real nice lady, <laughs> nice girlfriend. Okay. <laughs> okay. So now we're going to place this, and you just make sure you're covering all yes. of it. I know, Darlene. Aren't they cute? So fun. And you could tape all this down, but we usually just hold it. Yeah, you can tape it down. They'll tell you to tape it down, but again, we just hold it. Again, it's doing that cute little bean stitch that we like. That is a finished stitch of Kimberbell. That means this is going to be a raw edge applique trimming. So when I trim this leather out with my little snips, that's going to be it. And here it is finished. And you can see it's just the raw edge applique. We're going to put a little blue bow on him and some flowers, and that square is going to be done. These squares do go together very fast once you know how to do that reverse applique window. And this one, Mary Lou rocked out the middle. You're a good egg. And then I just love this little chick, too. Again, remember I told you guys, use these designs. I put these little bunnies on cinch sacks um, for my grandbabies for a little Easter present. 
Okay, so now we're back up here and we have the leather bunny and PJ's gonna zoom in and I'm just gonna trim him with my snips and you just kind of want to go a little bit uh, away from your stitches but that's going to be your final they call it raw edge applique I know my fingers are probably in the way okay So I do want to mention, and thank you to Keith, he's been coming in and helping ship, and we've had a lot of shippers staying over, but um, all the quilting through the seasons are out. So if you got in on that, and that's why I was giving you a couple weeks to get everything cut, they're all out, they're all shipped out, we're still going to wait another couple weeks before we start making the squares. But it just makes me so happy to say they've all been shipped. <laughs> so... Okay, so there's our little raw edge applique bunny. And then I'm going to give it back to Mary Lou. You're going to leave your topper on here. And you're going to do a little bunny bow. And then you're going to do some flowers. And then he'll be done. Get hi, here. Gloria. Do you want to come say hi? Yes. <laughs> I'm coming in. Or so I'm searching for yes. uh, the fabrics for Glorious Summer. We're looking for oh, they were in a tonal. Oh, right up here. Thinking. They're in those yellow bags. Oh, but we don't, well, okay. They're well, hi, all, everyone. All of them are there. They're, all the two tones are there, behind there. Okay, so now she's doing the inner ear, and there's a cute little satin stitch that does like the little inner ear in both ears. Then it'll do a nose. Just one ear. Oh, one ear on this one. Okay, and then it'll do a nose and a little eyeball. Then it'll do the bow and the flowers. Sandy's been cutting. I had a customer in this morning, a, uh, MJ was in. She said it took her two days, but she's got everything cut out, so. Yeah, there's, um, that's gonna be a fun one, really. Okay, now she's going to change to a an eye, for little the black eye. for the eyeball. If you have uh, glide so thread, our favorite is shadow. It's just a little charcoaly, but today we're using black because we're upstairs. <laughs> oh, Janet got her hoop tote and she loves it. Yeah, we've been rocking on the ship and getting everything out. So thank you again for your patience. A um, lot of orders, and we're, we're trying our best, and we've got a big crew now working. So thanks for your patience again. Oh, Carrie likes the reverse applique. It is fun, especially the it way Kimberbell does it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, now she's yep. going to do the little nose. Three of them have this one, and then the other ones have the... Have a different. I don't oh, know. Oh, Kathy call got it. all her fabrics and embellishment kits. Oh no, she got her fabrics cut, but her embellishments are next. The embellishments are easy, so you, you you're over the worst of it, Kath. <laughs> Sometimes I like to wait until I'm actually doing that square before you know. Be using the embellishments before I mess with the embellishment kit. True. going to do the blue bow. Do you have the snip so I can snip the one? Absolutely. I'm going to snip that are. pink, the pink tail on the nose there. What size are the mini quilts? Uh, they end up being 12 by 14 when they're done to hang on the little rack or to hang on a little dial rod. So they end up being 12 by 14. Here's our March one, and then here's our April one. Since St. Patrick's Day and Easter are both in March, we had to rock these out this yep. month <laughs> to give you our little tips. 
Just in case somebody has the kit and hasn't. Yeah, they need to know. Out, they just wait till the end of the month. Well, wow, that's Easter. Exactly. Okay, so she's just going to do the bow and the flowers, and then we'll check back with you, that's and we'll fine. start sewing some things. Okay. And then we'll do. Then we'll show them how to sew the flower on. Yep. Mm -hmm. Okay, so the rest is just um, stitching. She's going to do this cute little bow here. And then she's going to do these three little flowers here. And then that square is going to be complete. So these dimensional flowers, we're going to show you on the machine how we tacked them on, which was absolutely fabulous. <laughs> Mary so Lou easy. figured it out. Yes, <laughs> Mary Lou figured it out. So we saved one flower here of the dimensional flowers, if I lost it already. Did that go up my sleeve? Oh, there it is. And we're going to show you how to sew this one on. Oh, too cute. Okay, so we'll wait till she's done with that and we'll go there. So the first item I think in the bubble was the orange pop rollers that we used, correct? Okay, so those were the orange pop rollers that I used in the beginning to show you how to cut out that save the date pillow form. Uh, Corey made this bag for us and we use it for our store copy of our orange pop rollers. So here they are. This is the perfectly square one. They have them in rectangle also, but this is the ones that they call for for the um, save the date pillows. If you do not have these yet, um, I know we go back and forth with them. They are a little pricey, but we just use them more and more now because they have the little groove here for cutting. Uh, we use it to mark it, place it, cut it, piece it. Um, they're really, really slick the way they work. And you saw me use the eight and a half by eight and a half on this one, but it actually, after I added an inch, it became the 12 and a half by 12 and a half piece, which was super cool. So definitely, if you don't have these yet, it, it's worth the investment. Okay, the next is gonna be our water soluble pen. If you bought the clear blue tiles, you got a couple of those pens in your kit, but if you did not, this is what we're using, just to mark the rulers, and then we take water and you just spray that and these will disappear. So the water soluble pen, we use this a lot in Kimberbell. So if you don't have one of those or if you should need another one, we're selling this one today. And I actually keep it in my ruler bag here that Corey made just so we have it at all times. <laughs> okay, so the next item up is going to be the mini quilt. So what we're working on today is the CD, which is um, a CD form, and then you're going to want to print off the directions from this. And we made our own little book of them for our directions, and we put them in a sleeve, and then that way we have the whole month ready to go. So it's a CD for January through June. You'll have the whole six months, all the designs, so you can get them all done now before, before spring and summer, and you'll have them all done. But we've done the snowman, the little valentine, the lucky, and now we're doing the April. So in a few weeks, we'll do May, and then we'll have June. Everything goes so fast. So there's the CD of the mini quilts. It's for all six months. And then they have an embellishment kit, which is absolutely genius of them. That is all six months also. So it's all marked. You just grab the January bag and the January design, and you sew it out. So April, you can see it has the fur in here. We did the fur for the bunnies, and so cute. So everything is in here for the first six months. It's a very, very good deal. Okay, and the next item up is going to be the embroidery sampler. Okay, this was March's dealer exclusive. So if you guys were one of the ones that bought the whole year, you got yours March 1st. Steven sent them all out. It is the design. If you did not sign up for the whole year and you want this design, it is $10. It is the cutest little sampler of everything you can do in the embroidery hoop. If you watched What's New Wednesday with Kim today, she actually showed this. So it is uh, machine embroidery has my heart and the heart is all chenille. The um, fringe work, which is the water soluble bobbin threads, which make these little fringes. You've got piecing, which actually is done in the hoop. That's why these little flying geese or piecing are done perfect because they are a fold and flip and iron. You've got some beautiful decorative stitches 
that she put in here, some red work, which is generally all one thread and one design. And then she has some applique, which is this beautiful butterfly she has done with a satin stitch around. Very cute little to hang in your room. The kit will be next. Um, this is $10 for the design, but the kit I have made has the big hoop in it, one big hoop, and two little hoops because and a third of a yard of fabric. So I gave you a third of a yard of white on white, like pokey dot fabric to do these on, but each of these will fit in this four by four hoop. So if you just wanna make single ones, maybe for your sewing buddies or for someone just really cute, you can just make each one of these and they will fit in the four by four. So the kit includes one big hoop, two little hoops and the fabric to make the uh, marches dealer exclusive. Very, very cute. Okay, and the next one is the quilting through the seasons. This is our our baby right now. We absolutely love this. Um, I like I said, I'm so happy to say all of the kits are shipped. Um, there's a couple that are here for pickup for people that are locals to come pick up, but everything is packed. Uh, the bundles. Um, I think are we selling the bundle first, PJ? Yep. Okay. Can you hand me that box? So the bundle includes everything. Okay, so I still have a few more bundles. If you did not get in on this and you want in on this, we are going to be doing this uh, throughout the next couple months, every block, and then we will have it put together. I know PJ's getting me a ladder, so it's called a ladder quilt, and it's going to hang on a ladder. You can also hang it on a wall. You can hang it on a door. It's 20 inches wide by 60 long, so it's perfect for small spaces. We absolutely love it. Yes, there's a new one coming out for Halloween. I know you guys might have seen it. It's their second ladder quilt. It's called Pumpkins and Potions, and we have already pre-ordered them. They come out in June, so we'll be selling that one, and we will also be sewing that one. Um, it's adorable. So we've got to get this one done by June, okay? So in the bundle, you'll receive the book, which is all the directions are printed, and it has the CD with all the designs on it. So that is fabulous that you don't have to print these directions. They're all done for you. Now, a few of our ladies have gone to Office Max, Office Depot, whatever one's here, FedEx. They have spiral bound this book for them for like five bucks. It was so cheap, right? Didn't somebody yes, it say was it was 450 plus tax? 450 plus so, tax. I mean, we love this having the books with the colored pictures and everything, but you can certainly go have it spiral bound. We put ours in a binder. You see how we do it with the sleeves, but it's absolutely fabulous that you get the directions already printed. Here's the little pictures of them on a ladder. We just love it. You're going to get the book, the CD, the embellishment kit, which is all of the fabrics, the leathers, the mylars, the felts, the velcro, the buttons, the clips, the fur, anything you need for the this to embellish you're going to have in this kit. It's the all seasons embellishment kit. There's cork in here, there is everything in here. This comes in our bundle also. Next our bundle also will include the fabric kit which is Maywood Studios Kimberbell fabric kit in this nice little project bag and you'll get all the fabrics including the backing to do this whole project. And that's gonna be in a cute little box. And then Steve and Gloria, for the bundle, threw in the tote bag, which is a reusable tote bag. And everybody knows now when we go to the grocery stores, everybody should bring their reusable ones to save the planet. So this is a nice big one for you guys. So you'll get this bag and you will also get a little cute sack with the thread in it and we gave you all the exquisite thread colors that match the glide colors perfect so these little bags are absolutely perfect and you'll have all your threads that we're going to use on this project these were freebies for you so that was a really really good bundle okay so if you don't want to buy the bundle you can buy everything separate so first up will be the book with the cd it does and you'll have the designs Book only. Okay, book on book and CD only. If you want to use your own fabrics. Next will be the embellishment kit. If you want to make more than one, you can get another embellishment kit. It will have all the fabrics and uh, leathers and mylars and everything you need to complete a quilt. So you can buy an extra one of those if you want to make more than one. 
than what's next to fabric. You could buy a fabric kit if you want to make an additional one, or if you just want to do the fabric kit alone and not buy the bundle, you can buy the fabric kit, which we have in stock. Not everybody has that. And then Glide has come out with a thread kit that I will show you. We've included exquisite thread in this nice little bag, um, free. But if you want to spend $111 on the Glide thread, you can. <laughs> That's how much this one is. That's why we thought, mm, let's cut our guys a break. Everybody, we love the Glide thread. Absolutely, we love it. But the exquisite thread is perfect. We use it all the time, too. But this one is Quilting Through the Seasons. It's a double layer one. There are 20 spools of thread in here. We went through and matched up every single color with the color chart on the exquisite. And you have the exact colors that the Glide does. So. But if you want this one, it's for sale now too, separate. You can definitely do that one. But the free one is our exquisite. Okay. Oh, we're all done. Okay. So let's go back to the mini quilt. And we're going to show you how. Do you have the sewing machine set up? Well, kind of. So we're going to show them. It's, it's ready to go. Okay. So what she's going to show you is, okay, let's just show them our square first. It's all done. There's our cute little bunny square. So you're going to pop it out of the hoop. You're going to trim it right on those lines. And then you're going to sew these all together once you have all your squares together. So now we're going to show you the dimensional flowers of just how to sew them on. A slick way. You can certainly glue them on. You can you certainly can hand, hand sew stitch them, them on. on. We don't like that four letter <laughs> word, hand. No. <laughs> but we figured out a way. Mary Lou figured out a way. I did. In the sewing machine because she's creative like that. That was just fabulous. Okay, so we're going to go to number three. We're in our sewing menu. We're going to number three. And we want a little X. We just want to tack those down with a little X. And I'm going to, I'm going to change the, the length, length and the width. And I'm going to go up there and I'm going to make this star button right here. Makes it a single stitch. Makes it a single X. Where if you step like that, you're going to have a row of X's to stitch. If we want a single X, boom, a single X. What? <laughs> I oh, love it. And I'm going to do this because I like it better when you Oh, yeah. So she's stitch. going to do the start stop button instead of the pedal. Okay. So, so you decide where you want your flower. It looks like it's going to go, if I'm following the pattern, it goes right there. Okay. So I'm going to set this down. Now we want to show up. them those two buttons that Joni showed us this morning. Oh, that's right. I didn't do that yet. Okay. We're going to do the, this is the. It takes a village, people. <laughs> it takes a village. <laughs> Thank you for reminding me of that. <laughs> this one, which is the. Up and down. Up and down. It, it ties an odd, and that's the cut. Okay, so you want these all on when you're doing this particular stitch, because it's going to just do an X and stop. Yep. And so I just put the presser foot on that, and I sort of center it on the the center of the flower, on the white part, and then I just do this. Sharon Shade, we have the, the CD and the embellishment kit right online today. Okay, oh, look at that up close he got. Okay. Oh, sorry. No, that's fine. I think you should just <laughs> do it again over it. Yeah. You want me to do it over yeah, it again? Yeah, just right over it. Okay. Okay, so she has her set, and watch that little X sew out. X, 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 and then it knots it. Well, it, it just and finished it just the stops. X there. And it's great. Now it's tacked on. Check it out. So now that, how much easier is that than hand sewing it? That's all done. And I'll just trim that little thread. As soon as I said to Mary Lou, how are we going to do these dimensional flowers? She goes, there's an X in the machine. I'm like, what? So there. And this it's was on in nice and tight on the all Altair, the Meridian, all the baby lock machines would have that. It was just the X. Yep. How about that, guys? And Thank we don't you, Mary have to Lou. Sew it. <laughs> that was great. That was great. So what what I will do probably tomorrow is oh, you we're going to do a wrap around binding on this. And this is the backing fabric. It's in the back of your envelope. This is this the backing, is the backing fabric. fabric. It's your fat quarter in your kit, and we're just going to do a little wrap around binding, and then he's going to be done. And we'll clip him on, and that's it for him. All done. Okay, so the next item up for so, for selling is going to be the, we did the uh, thread kit of, we did the, we did the, um, 
Happy place. There we go. Happy place. Okay, happy place is what we're going to show next week, guys. So, um, I bet you what I didn't bring up my sample. Okay. No. Oh, I did. You brought it. Okay, so the Happy Place CD is in the bubble right now. These are those rope bowls. They had just come out with this. You can make coasters. You can make bowls. You can make small bowls, big bowls. But they have these bottom um, that are all sewn with, what is that stuff? Um, Form. Something shape form. Shape form that we'll be selling next week. And we're going to teach you how to do the bottom shape form piece, it's almost like a mug rug. There's an envelope style back. How you take out the inside of this, Mary Lou's like a pro at these rope bowls. She is, and we're going to show you. Everybody wants a class on these rope bowls, I know. Everybody wants to come and take a class, I know. You have to tell PJ, because I need that room to do that. But we're gonna do this little project tomorrow, and then maybe we can do a face-to-face -face, uh, for the spa or some oh, other bowl. Okay. But these are cute. We'll do out the little so medallion. Simple. And then I know in here, like I printed the directions off the CD. There are so many different sizes of bowls you can make. You can make all these uh, two inch, three and a half, five inch. You can make tall. You can put handles on them. You can make coasters. Uh, there's one in here that has, there they all are, little wall hanging in one of those little wooden hoops again. Here's a little coaster like the one we have here, a couple little sizes of the bowls. If you watched um, Kim today on Kimberbell Wednesday, she is having an in the hoop project coming up that she's going to demo, which is going to be a rope bowl for somebody very special oh, in her yes. life. And she actually put, so um, put a name on the leather that you get in the embellishment kit and kind of personalized it. So you're going to have to watch her for that. But yes, so first item in the bubble is the actual CD. You get six designs in two different sizes. All these um, little fruit medallions, birds, hello sunshine, this flower one. There's even a little sewing. Uh, my sewing space is my happy place. So really, really cute designs. And that would be the item in the bubble now. Now, next we're going to put in the bubble the embellishment kit. They give you these cute tassels, wooden beads, and wooden flowers to embellish these bowls with. So you can kind of see the sides here of like how they have this leather tag on here. Plus they give you all these designs stitched out on the CD. There's little mm -hmm. sunshines. There's little, um, they say, um, stitched by. I printed it out. It's really, really cute designs that you can embroider on the leather and embellish your bowl with. Very, very cute. Oh yeah, I did. There's my, there's my, not that one. I think it's in the back. Okay, so here's the embellishments. So here's the embellishment kit. It comes with the leather, these wooden flowers, and all these little, oh, hold on, <laughs> and all these little tassels, and the wooden flowers, and the wooden beads. But here's the, for, I always go backwards. Let this way. Find, find you. Okay, you find me. There's the little lemon. So they'll have you do it right here. They give you the little grommets they sew, so all you have to do is sew them on. The next one is a cute little flower. It's got a little stitch around it. Again, this is included in that, that CD. Embellishment kit Look at this cute little medallion one. This is the one I love. Handmade with love. They have done this in the embroidery machine so you can make that tag for any of your projects. This one is stitched from the heart, and it has a little heart on it. And there's a sunshine for the Hello Sunshine one. Sorry, I'm going too fast. There it is, Hello Sunshine. So they're really, really cute, and they're all included on that CD. And we're going to show you um, how to do this bowl. Mary Lou's going to show you how to do this bowl next week. Um, so uh, it's really cool. And if you guys remember the last few weeks, I've been showing you Day at the Spa. There's a cute little bowl in there. Um, mm -hmm. I still have some more of those available, but I'm not showing those today. I don't want to inundate you with everything. Um, the next thing in the bubble is their Project Rope. So yes, you can go to your local hardware store or Walmart and get clothesline rope. That's fine. And it will work. However, Kimberbell. But not as well as this. <laughs> and ask this one because she's a pro at making these bowls. The, this has just the right weight. So you right. tell them about it. It's, it's a it's, quarter inch. It is a quarter inch thick. Mm -hmm. And I, how much do you get here? You get 100, 100 feet. So that you can make quite a bit of And from I think this. it's a little brighter. It's white. Yes. It's more, this is, I would call this white because mm -hmm. the one I have is sort of a cream. Cream. Beigey. Yeah. Yep. But so, um, 
it just works perfect for their project because that the rope goes perfectly flat when you stick yeah. it behind. So she knows exactly what to, uh, size the here. stitches are going to be and how to do it. So this will be next week's lesson, and um, you could certainly Cute. buy this stuff, and you'll have us on video of how to watch how to do them. Yes, we're good. Mary Lou's the pro. Okay, so um, next is the save the date. Project, project kit. kit. Okay, so uh, the Happy Easter one that we did and we were showing you how to cut, I actually have a few kits left if you want to get in on that. And it comes oh, with the it pillow, is. it comes with the buttons, and it comes with four yards of white on white fabric. It's a really good kit. I saw these downstairs. I'm like, wait, I still have a few of these left because these sold out. So you're getting four yards of white on white fabric that Steven sold Thursday night on yes, me. The whole but I got more in today, so we're good. But it's a really good kit. You'll get the actual linen pillow form and then you'll get the um, buttons, the wooden buttons. So you'll be able to make all of the whole year. That kit is for the whole year. And the actual designs are digital downloads from Kimberbell. You will go to digital downloads at Kimberbell. Uh, we ask that you use our affiliate uh, link. Give us some credit for that. That's great. But that's where you buy their designs, and then they'll email you the files. I'm like throwing PJ under the bus right now with that link. Yeah, but I forgot to tell you that. But look how cute this one's going to look once we have the backing on and the buttons on. That'll be tomorrow, Aww. too. Yeah. Or so, maybe so tonight. Cute. We might have it done by um, next week. Which, uh, um, Kimberbell. Link, and what are they shopping for there? The deal, uh, save the date. Save the date. And save the date. Visual... Does digital download okay. files. Yes. Okay. He's actually typing our little um, Kimberbell link in there that you could go right to and that you can order the save the date um files if you want to because he's good that way <laughs> are, you, are you doing the quilted pillow by itself is that next i did ask him to put that in yep okay that was next. so if you guys do not want to buy this whole bundle and you want to buy the quilted pillow itself you know how kimberbell's pillows are i will show you out of this bundle though they come already quilted already with a zipper already surged edges, ready to embroider. They call these their embroidery blanks. So they're ready quilted. There's the invisible zipper in the bottom and they are already surged. So you're ready to embroider anything you want on here. So I've embroidered um, some monograms on here for people who are getting married. You can put their right, last initial right. with some of those real pretty ones that are built in our machines. Uh, it has a little honeycomb design. It is a linen, uh, oat, it's, I think they call it oat, oat linen color with a little honeycomb design on it. These are ready to quilt. You just make your embroidery and then you put right sides together and you can open just, your zipper. You can use a straight stitch. Serger, straight stitch, zigzag, whatever, the three sides, and then you flip it inside out, and then you zip it up and you have your pillow. These are actually fabulous. So I do have some of just pillows if you want to make additional pillows, but you do get one in that bundle for the whole year of Save the Date. But if you just want to buy this blank for gifts, now's the time because I got them in stock. <laughs> okay. Next is our little cinch sack. That goes in this pack yep. for that bundle. So the cinch sacks are really cute. This is what, and I, and I left mine at home, but I put this little bunny. These are a two pack of cinch sacks. Again, kind of like the pillow. They're called their embroidery blanks. They're completely made with a drawstring in them. They are surged. They are ready to embroider. So what I did was I took, where's our mini quilt? I took this little bunny here right here, this little bunny, since I had that design, and I embroidered him onto my little cinch sack, and I even put some Easter grass underneath here. If you guys watched Steven, screw that up, but we did it. <laughs> and we put a little bit of Easter grass on there, and then I put right sides together, zip this up, and then now I have a little cinch sack for each of my grandbabies for Easter that they're gonna get like a little egg in there with a little treat. Yep, so, so cute. So I always tell you guys, use up these designs. This little chick, he, she's cracking me up with her little eyelashes. I really should have put her on the five-year-olds because she draws everything with eyelashes. <laughs> but they're cute. And that has the foam underneath it. So use your designs on other projects. So these cinch sacks are two-pack. 
They're very reasonable. They're one of Kimberbell's new hot items. Um, so grab them while we have them. Good gifts. Okay, what would be next? Fat quarter bundles. Okay. So I have two fat quarter bundles in today. The first one is Celebration. That is their new line of fabric. Um, so this is 18 fat quarters. Um, it's basically all white backgrounds, but there's all pennants and hearts and strawberries and confetti and flowers and honeybees and snowflakes and word, wordage on here with love and friends and memories. There's some Halloween bats and some autumn leaves, some St. Patrick's Day, some holly, and then they even have the metallic uh, little confetti and little fireworks. It's a really good line of fabric. We do have the yardage in also, but I'm just selling the little fat quarter bundle today. You have this for your sewing room. You won't want to open it. You want to just to let it sit in your sewing room and look pretty, but it is a good, it is a good, uh, definitely group. Mm -hmm. And the next one would be the Kimberbell White on Whites. Uh, this is 10 fat quarters, and this is all white on whites. There will be pokey dots, there will be the hound's tooth, the honeycomb, the stripes. This is what Stephen sold by the bolt Thursday night, <laughs> which was fine. People bought the bolt. Uh, having white on white in your sewing room is a must because you just need white on whites for everything. We don't like to use solid fabric for backgrounds. Like I say the dates, they're all a white on white or a tone on tone. We like to use that on our projects. So this one is a nice one to have, 10 fat quarters of all their white on whites, and you'll have it when you need it in your sewing room. Okay. Okay, I have some more of the spring felt. Again, you can use these on your designs. Your bunny, we could have made him a little felt bunny if we wanted to today. We could have made him a pink one or, or a white one. But this felt, as you know, Kimberbell's felt is really a nice quality felt. There are um, 11 sheets in here, 9 inches by 12 inches. Really pretty colors. They're fall collection and winter collection was very pretty but this is their spring and summer uh, it has the antique white it has buttermilk honey sun-kissed peach french pink lilac lavender sea glass pistachio prickly pear and pebble very very cool colors so you definitely need this for your room for all your little applique designs okay the next i put some steam a seam in so this is how we actually finished our um Where's our little St. Patrick's Day one? So, oh, we never did this one. So steam a seam <laughs> is what we would put right, oh yeah, there is one in here, I just didn't iron it. So here is your little opening because you do a reverse on here. So if you put a piece of steam a seam right here. Whoops, sorry. Okay, right there's a steam a seam. Then you could just fold this down and you could press this and your steam, your seam is closed and you're done. So this steam seam comes in two sizes. So we have the quarter, or the half inch in first. That's what I used on this one, half inch. We use this for so many projects. I mean, so many. So you definitely wanna, it's what it says, steam a seam. So you wanna just iron a seam, a seam closed and you're good to go. So we have half inch is in the bubble and then next in the bubble will be quarter inch. And again, you can buy either one and use it. I've used the half and cut it in half this way if yes, I needed a quarter have. inch, but yep. this is definitely something you want to have. If you have to hurry up and hem your pants, you don't have time, just steam and seam them up. <laughs> <laughs> and it holds. It holds very well. Okay, so now we have some stabilizers. Light Mesh Cutaway is their no-show brand. So this is what we used in the hoop today on our bunny. This is what we use um, almost every single project we use. And this one is 12 inches by 10 yards, Light Mesh Cutaway. Any project that calls for a cutaway, a medium cutaway, a light cutaway, any kind of cutaway, just use no-show. That's what we use for every single one. Mm -hmm. uh, unless it particularly calls for heavyweight cutaway, which, you know, usually they don't. They just say use cutaway. Right. That's what we use as the no-show. All right. And the next one is our Shape Flex. Okay. This is fusible backing. It was called for on the back of the background fabric that we quilted and the back of the egg. So you definitely need this. If you have Shape Flex SF-101, Fusible backing, it's all the same thing. It's an interfacing that is fusible on one side, but you need this for the back of these projects, especially when you're background quilting. It just helps the fabric so much for it embroidery. It really does. 
So Kimberbell has their brand of it, and it's 12 inches by the five yards, and it's another must-have. Okay, they also have a uh, wash away topper. We used that on the bunny whenever we made our little window before we placed our bunny so that our presser foot would not get stuck underneath here, our embroidery foot. We used a piece of this wash away topper. And you put that on a lot of projects. Even mm -hmm. the mug rugs you could put on the back so that it doesn't get stuck in the envelope. They use this wash away topper and literally it peels off and then there, if there's anything left, you can just tab it with like a little paper towel and it disintegrates. It's wash away. <laughs> so you definitely want to have this in your stash and it is a 12 inch by 10 yard piece. Oh, the Kimberbell batting. I had to put this in because this is our all-time favorite batting. I have people that come in the store and say, I need Kimberbell's batting. I need Kimberbell's batting. The quality is so great. I know we love all the gypsy batting, too. Absolutely, that's good, too. But we love this size of Kimberbell. It's 19 inches by 3 yards. Uh, it's just a really good size for all these little projects that we're doing. So um, I'm selling it today because I have a bunch of it in stock. So 19 inch by 3 yards. Okay, the Turner tool I put in today because if we would flip out that pillow that we were going to sew the backing on, you're going to need the Turner tool. This is our favorite one. I mean, oh, we have OESDs and everything, yep. but this is the I one have we both go to. And this is the one I use. This is the one we go to. It doesn't roll off your table because it's like a hexagon or whatever. But um, this is R and K precision turning tool, and it has everything to poke out all of our corners. It's just perfect. So if you don't have a turning tool that you like, you want to get this one for sure. Okay. Okay, the wool mat cleaner. I put this in because our wool mat in Downstairs the Kimberbell is room. Bad. It's bad. <laughs> we need to use this. So we have to borrow theirs from up here, the one that's open. I think it's probably in that drawer. So I put this in because it truly works. You guys have seen us. Oh, Steve. He has, he has PJ it. has it right here. So this room, this one's clean, but the one in the Kimberbell room is really, really bad. But this just kind of goes and picks up all those little pieces off of there and gets all of that crud off of your mat. We are going to use this okay. today down in our Kimberbell room. It'll so if you don't have one of these, it. okay, good, you have it. <laughs> um, you're going to want to get one of these. It's a very slick tool. So that's why I put it in today because we needed it. <laughs> okay. Which one is next? Uh, Okay, I put in this really cute little hanger because we just got them in, and they're for spring, and they're perfect for these. So if you don't want to do a sleeve on the back and hang them on your thing, you can make, I mean, you would have to put a sleeve on the back for this one, but they will fit your little mini quilts. And look at how cute it is with all the tulip hearts and the little leaves. It's a very cute one. So this is a 12-inch one, perfect for any Kimberbell project. And we just got them in and I said, oh, I want to sell these today on Kimberbell because they're perfect just to hang. Um, it's not big enough for our quilting through the seasons yet, but no, we are, no, we are going to have one, one that's 22 bigger. inches wide. Yeah, I'll have her get in some, but that is so cute for your door or for your wall. I know a lot of like senior citizens or little um, people that live in apartments, they like to have something little on their door. These are perfect. Okay. And then our snips that we just oh, love. Our favorites love our from Moray snips. snips. You see how we use these every day of our lives. Steven sold a two-pack of these on Thursday night. Yes, he did. And that was a heck of a deal. So they're serrated. They are curved. They are so, so perfect. They're pretty. Um, and they never, never really go dull. We use these for everything. So if you want to treat yourself to a good pair of snips, that's the Fomore Easy Snip. We use it every day. Like, where's my snips? You know, you heard us this morning. Yes. Where's the snips? <laughs> I need the snips. Okay, so next I put in the clips. So say you don't want to put a sleeve on. You can just take your little mini quilt and you could clip them on here if you want and just use these little clips. They're really cute. They're colorful. I believe you get a hundred in here and they're all different colors. Mm -hmm. So uh, we use a, these for I everything. She'll use them for the wraparound binding to hold it all while she's sewing it. Um, they're better than pins. We just use these. We love them. And it comes in a cute little box. Too. We love those little Oops, tins. There I go. And I do the Clean. same thing. Yeah, it's a cute little tin. It has a hundred in there. I know that's a good price. Eighteen ninety-five. Is that for real? Oh my gosh. They had like a sheet of those for like 10 or 12 of them that were like eight ninety five. Oh, I yeah. remember because that's when I first bought them. I know. I was like, they that's come all down I in get price, for that but, price. Yeah, but definitely grab them while we have them. <gasps> Look what's okay, you next. can open this. This is what? a new this item. This is a new item. It's listed as a pre sale right now. We're getting them in in May. Um, however, I have two in. 
uh, stock right now. If you buy them today, the first two people will get them. But oh, look at this, this is remarkable size. It's an Alessio iron. I don't know if I it's can not that cordless, out. but it's tulip pink. Oh, tulip yeah. pink design. Look so at for our ladies oh, that love wow, pink, look at that. you're never going to lose your iron in your room. That's for sure. Look at the color of this. Oh thing. my gosh. Whoa. Okay. Look at the design on the side, guys. Oh gosh. It's so cute. Oh, little like flowers or little kind of confetti on there. Oh my gosh, look is that, that cute? Look at that color. Oh. And look what happens. Like here's the five by seven hoop. It and you is take going it out of to, here. we use our Panasonic cordless for all of our in the hoop projects too. But on this one, it's this it's would just, be perfect. Yeah, this one's just a little smaller and um, it fits Especially perfect. Especially for this. This for size that size, suit. yeah. We have to tilt the Panasonic, which we don't mind doing. Yeah. But look at look the at size that. of this one. And look how cute it is. And it comes, and it in comes a on base. your little mat. Oh, my gosh, guys. So, again, I have two right now that I can ship out. But the other ones are going to have to wait till May to get them in. So, and then very, I think they're only cute. 99 bucks. I mean, it's a really good deal. Very cute. Tulip pink lovers. You definitely want to get that. And that, I need that. What do you have in your hand? Oh, sorry. Okay. So, um, I think, is that everything? Is that everything? That's it. Okay. Oh, good. Well, that is our show for today, everybody. Thank you, Mary Lou. Thank you, PJ. Thank you, um, Kathy. <laughs> we did a good job here. And uh, tune in tomorrow night. We have a little surprise we're working on. Uh, Gloria always has surprises, but there's a lot of things going on tomorrow night. Kathy's going to be busy tomorrow. <laughs> yes, I am. Yes, I'm going to be very <laughs> busy I tomorrow. Will be too. <laughs> yeah, so uh, thank you, everybody. We'll see you tomorrow night for our favorite things at 7 o'clock ish. We try, but 7 o'clock ish. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Bye, everybody. Bye. <laughs>